morning and praise the Lord. I'm Reverend Frederick. I'm born again and I love Jesus. It is a new day that the Lord has given us so that we can rejoice and continue worshiping him with our mind, body, soul, and everything that belongs to us. I feel honored to welcome you all today as we continue to learn more about worshiping God in giving. We continue with our theme of giving as a way of worship. And today, I want us to ask ourselves, what is the place of sacrifice and giving in God's plan? When we want to construct a house, for example, you have something in mind, which you later interpret it into a drawing. And while you're doing it in your mind, I believe that you make sure that you have a picture even of the movement in that house, where people will stay, how they'll be moving from one place to another. And the same thing, God had this picture right from beginning, and that is what I want us maybe explore because we just build on something. We cannot build on vacant, so that you can have an understanding of what exactly God wanted and uh, what was the mind of God about giving while he was planning everything uh, in the Old Testament. Brothers and sisters, for us to understand the New Testament, it requires grounding in the Old Testament. And so I want us to look at the Old Testament tabernacle, and that will help us <clears throat> answer the question that we are supposed to answer today. From chapter 34 to chapter 40 of the book of Exodus, the Bible records mostly about the tabernacle and that which was required and what God expected and how God expected uh, the tabernacle to be. And I just want to summarize it and explain how the tabernacle, how the tabernacle was. Brothers, in the first place, the tabernacle had one gate, the eastern gate, and you could only enter to the tabernacle through the eastern gate. Right after the gate, there was an altar of sacrifice. And after the altar of sacrifice, there was a basin with water at the outcourts. From the basin of water, from the outer court, there was a door and the lampstand, and that is where the table of shield bread was placed. From there, we entered into the holy place where there was an altar of incest. From the altar of incest, I hope that we are following these, there was holy of holies where the ark of the covenant and the seat of mercy was, where they believed that God dwelled. It was not a mistake that the first thing, if you enter the gate you met, that first thing that was greeting you after you enter the gate was the altar of sacrifice and not the table of shewed bread as most of us would want. Why the altar? Uh, one of the attributes of God we should know is providing to his people. And he's giving, he's a giving God. And to him, the only sign of showing love is by giving. No wonder he loved the world and he gave us his son. He instructs Moses to tell the people that no one is to appear before him empty-handed. And if you read <clears throat> Exodus chapter 34 and verses 26, the last part of it, the Bible records, no one is to appear before me empty-handed. This is God telling, uh, uh, telling Moses. And that is why immediately you enter the tabernacle, the first thing you met was the altar of sacrifice so that you can sacrifice that which you've come with before the Lord. 
And after that, you could follow, as I said earlier, you go to the basin of water, then you enter into the door, into the lampstand, and the rest. And so, it is clear from this that the sacrifice, uh, sacrificing or a sacrificial character is a must for those who approach the presence of God. This is a requirement. You must have a sacrificing character if you, an, you want to approach the throne of mercy or if you want to, to approach God. If you value salvation, if you value your Christianity, if you value your faith, you must be ready to sacrifice for nothing or of real value comes without sacrifice. Again, remember, a biblical faith is the one that recognizes the priority of sacrifice. And if you have, you're in any way in doubt of this, if in the, uh, in the uh, discipleship classes that maybe you have attended, they did not teach you the importance of giving as a Christian, then the teaching, we might say, that they are hollow teachings. Brothers and sisters, today we ha we're having a challenge in our churches and even in the Christian family as a whole because most of us are expecting that when we enter the tabernacle, when we enter into the church, that we meet or, or rather we are met by the table of the shield bread where you're provided for but not you providing for. I want to bring this, that God expected us give before we receive from him, because even what we are giving is what we have received from God himself. Brothers, as we have said earlier, that we only have a plan of what we went, and while we are planning, we even master the movement and the rest. I want to say this, that God saw it right, that when we enter into the Eastern Gate, the first thing that we meet is the altar of sacrifice, so that you can drop there that which you came to sacrifice. And from that, the Lord could allow you to enter to the deeper parts of the tabernacle, to the holy and if by his grace, if you're graced enough, you go to the point of the Holy of Holies. This morning, I don't know how you've been taking things. I don't know how you've been going into the house of the Lord. I don't know how and what place have, uh, have sacrificed had in your life. I don't know whether you're the kind of people that just do it because others are doing. But I want to tell you this morning that sacrificing is very key to us Christians. Even to God himself, he had a plan that we, ma we have to sacrifice. And that is why the sacrificing altar was the first thing that, was, that, that uh, could meet us while we are entering into uh, the tabernacle. Another thing that you should know, there was no other way that will, would lead you to where the altar, the Ark of Covenant was, if not the Eastern Gate. Anyone who try to pass through any other gate, through any other gate that does not have a sacrificing altar, that person will never have an access to the Ark of Covenant, to the presence of the Lord, to the throne of mercy. And so brothers, I want to plead with you this morning that we put sacrifice in front while we are preparing. Before you pray, just remember that you need to sacrifice. Before you, you, you come to the church to sing and to present anything that you want to present, remember you need to have, you need to pass through the altar of sacrifice. This tells us that sacrificing, giving was very key right from beginning of the mind of the Lord while he was planning the worship and worship places. God bless you. God do you good. 
And uh, may God help us to have a sacrificing character as Christians. Kindly, let us make a prayer together with you. Please pray after me and say this, Dear Lord, help me have a sacrificial character and the willingness to give rather than to get. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Shalom. God bless you.